Welcome friends in the very first video of trigonometry. Uh, before going to learn about the trigonometry, let's uh, observe some examples. Okay, uh, so friends, just I'm making over here a mountain, right? Suppose this is a mountain, you can say uh, Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, right? Uh, and just see in the same level of this, there is a small girl, right? A small girl watching to the peak of this Mount Everest right with a certain angle over here right with certain angle suppose it's theta right so in this situations friend can this lady the can this uh, small girl calculate the height of this uh, whole Mount Everest without actual measurement without actual measuring this whole Mount Everest the, the, the peak right so is it any possibility so let's put another question uh, means question mark over here and let's take another example also suppose uh, there is a building right and these uh, these all are these, these all are the building right actually and this is the balcony of this building and uh, there is a river just near the house it's flowing like this it's not the road okay it's river uh, and this is the breeze you can see right and here are lots of flower blooming on the bank of the river right and here is a small boy watching to the flowers with certain angle right to the horizontal suppose theta so is there any possibility to find out the width it means uh, uh, width of this river without actual measurement without measuring the actual uh, width of this river so there again another question comes here right so to give the answer of such questions there is uh, another branch uh, in trigonometry uh, that's another branch in mathematics that's called the trigonometry okay trigonometry this will give all the answers and here try right this try means three gono means side and metry means the measurement it's called the measurement so you know the geometrical uh, object that has the three sides is of course a triangle right so the triangles three sides measurement means related to their three sides and the three angles is known as the trigonometry means in the whole chapter we'll be learning only about the trigonometry uh, in this whole trigonometry just about the three sides and their ratios and the related angles right and especially let me tell you in trigonometry only we will deal about the right angle triangle right and suppose this is a right angle triangle a b and this is c it's right angle at b and it makes certain angles that's theta right okay so friend uh, the longest side of the uh, right angle triangle always we say it hypotenuse hypotenuse uh, t e n u s e tenuous t u n u s okay tenuous hypotenuse that's h we represent it by h and the side in who is the angle base right angle seat is called the base right this is called base and we represent this side by b right the angle in which uh, the side in which uh, the angle seat is called the base so it is sitting in this side that's why it is base and just opposite to the angle opposite side of the angle is called the perpendicular perpendicular okay perpendicular you can say perpendicular and we represent this by p right so just opposite to the angle is called the perpendicular so we sh should understand this right and friend i have just made a sentence to uh, learn this easily so let me write this i think you'll it will be more clear for you right luther we know all martin luther king right luther have some books of personality books of personality luther have some books of personality right that's luther is l have that's h sum that's s and book that's b 
of that's O and personality that's P means largest the longest part is hypotenuse C this longest part of the right angle triangle is the hypotenuse and the S that's the seat right angles seat this angle is seated seated on this so BC is the seat for the this angle that's why this is called base right and opposite to the angle just opposite to the angle AB is called the perpendicular right so LHSBOP Luther have some books of personality okay so uh, let's learn now some ratios of per, uh, this uh, trigonometry so let me write the ratios there are six ratios my friend six ratios in trigonometry to learn and the first is sine theta right this it's sine I'm just uh, it, it's uh, related to this angle that's why sine theta another is cos theta cosine it's and we I'm writing in short form that's cosine cos theta and another is tan theta it's tangent but I'm writing in short form tan theta okay and another is cosec theta another is sec theta and the sixth one is called cot theta right and these all that are the trigonometric ratios right and this sine theta represents perpendicular to the hypotenuse perpendicular to the hypotenuse okay and this cos theta represents the base to the hypotenuse and tan theta represents the perpendicular to the base okay and this cosec theta represents the hypotenuse to the perpendicular and the sec theta represents hypotenuse to the base and just like this cot theta also represents base to the perpendicular right so these all are the six ratios so are you watching some relationship over here yeah right see p upon h h upon p b upon h b upon h p upon b right b upon p so it's almost opposite right so if you know these all then automatically you can know these all words right so that's the relationship so you should know this relationship right just opposite sine theta and cos theta are just opposite cos theta sec theta are opposite tan theta and cot theta are opposite so you should know this all uh, this relationship so friends to understand this I have made another sentence that's uh, that's another friend of uh, Luther his name is Sine right Sine cosines right costume section costume section timely in a cottage in a cottage right sine cosines that's sine cosine that's cosec costume that's cos and section that's sec timely that's tan cot is that's cot so these are just the opposite words right so sine that's cosec cos sec and tan that's cot okay so you should know this so you should know this sine cosines costume section timely in cot is it means sine is opposite to cosec cosec that's costume is opposite to the sec that's section and timely that's tan is opposite to the cot that is cot is okay and you must know the ratios that's uh, sine theta is p upon h cos theta is b upon s and tan theta is p upon b so you must know these also then only you can calculate these all you know the opposite side but you don't know the ratios what are the ratios of sine cosine and tan theta so to learn this uh, in my school I have learned from my teacher uh, there's a very nice sentence I think uh, it will be really helpful for you also so let me write this that right it's some people right have curly brown hair they perform best right some curly and they some this s represents the sign 
C represents the cos and T represents the time right and in here P represents the perpendicular H represents the hypotenuse B represents the base and again here H and this P and this B so this S represents sine uh, let me do this with another color okay this represents the sine theta curly this represents the cos theta and tan this represents the tan theta so right so sine theta equals to P upon H that's P upon H brown that's B upon H and this pop form and the best that represents the B upon sorry P upon B so sine theta some people have curly brown hair right they perform best understand some people have some people have curly brown hair they perform best like this you should understand this all right and you must know this all formula okay so let me uh, make this whole one right from here from LHSB right so that will be more easier to understand you and to remember this all okay so Luther have some books of personality right that represents the one thing again okay. another is that uh, shiny cosines costume section timely in cottage right and another is that uh, let me do with the another color right some people have curly brown hair they perform best right so these all are the formula right here these all are the formula so Luther had have some books of personality and there is another guy who is the friend of the Luther signy signy cosines costume section timely in court is right and in that court is there were many people's right so there were some people in that court is there were some people having curly brown hair they perform the best right this is a story so you understand these all you should know properly my friend okay so how is looking friend this don't you look like this or something like guitar or a bottle right just like looking like my guitar right it's a guitar or you can say it's a bottle right so there is a story just understand this story Luther had some books of personality right and there is another guy that's a friend of Luther it's signy cosines costume sex and timely on cottage in a cottage and another is in that cottage some people have curly brown hair time uh, and they perform best so these all represents the formula right so you must understand this all and uh, just uh, watch this video two to three times once you understand the trigonometry and go for the trigonometry 2 section our trigonometry 2 section okay thank you